Okay, uh, 952, Luke Wilson is here, and we had a number of stories this week that we just keep talking about, really caught our eye. Yeah, it's been fun. So, we are going to chat about all of them this morning, including the best story of the week, the Beefcake Calendar. <laughs> Um, we cannot get enough of this story. It's just so funny. So it's this calendar. Um, China Green did this story. She did a great job. Yeah, um, amazing this, story. Uh, this uh, calendar went viral again. It was created in the 1980s. There it is. There's our friend George. 1988, and there's yeah. George Lavasser, who, who was Mr. December. Um, this is basically, uh, they, called it, they called it every woman's fantasy, which is men doing chores. <laughs> um, because I can't. <laughs> oh, look at men peeling, peeling potatoes, potatoes for Thanksgiving. Doing men doing yep. the things. Do, what, what do you think, Luke? What, what do you think of the beefcake calendar? Uh, it's you know it's not my cup of tea to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to if you were own. if you were to be in the beefcake calendar, what chore would you be doing? Uh, <laughs> how you know how liberal is the term chore right now? Yeah, you wow. know what? There's a guy. Mr. December was wrapping line. presents, so you go for it. I mean, could I be sleeping? <laughs> I'm a pretty good sleeper. That does not count. It doesn't that count? That does not count. That is the opposite of the chore oh. calendar. We need a chore. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, maybe I have an espresso machine. I can just push the button and then the coffee comes out. Yeah. Okay. Making yeah. coffee. Making coffee. Well, okay. I wouldn't say I'm making it. I'm just pushing the button. I'm facilitating it. You know? This is disappointing. Yeah. I would Always not. the facilitator. I'm, I don't think many women would buy that calendar. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty much useless I, when okay. it comes to... I have talents in my life and doing chores is not in my list of talents. I, I, okay. I'm with but, you there. Oh, but actually, wait, 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 wait. What? I'm one of the world's greatest vacuumers. I got a Dyson. I'm really good at it, too. And I'll just and sling a, that thing there's around. There's a Dyson. There's a yeah. vacuumer in the calendar. Oh, wow. Yes, I can sling the, the Dyson around like no other. All right, so there. for the reboot, Perfect. Luke Perfect. Wilson, yes. maybe you get in a call. Okay, so so Perfect PETA now lines. calling for getting rid of Punxsutawney Phil. What is up with that? So um, they want to replace him with, uh, like, a tree or an apple. An apple? Which I don't, I just don't, what, what is that about? So, I mean, I understand Peter's point. They're saying, you know, you hold the, the rodent up and, and say that, you know, Punxsutawney, oh, he saw a shadow, so we're going to have six weeks of winter. Everybody goes, boo, and they go get drunk. So, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, what's wrong with this? I don't understand. I, well, Liz and I said, if you're doing an apple, you got to put googly eyes on the apple, right? right? Because how is the apple supposed to see a shadow? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's tradition. I, I hope they treat, treat the little guy or, or girl uh, well. <laughs> Luke, they, they don't. They don't have a Punxsutawney Phil in Canada. Yeah, like we, we, we were just talking about it. this. You were like, who's Punxsutawney yeah, Phil? Yeah, we just call it Groundhog Day. You know, I don't. I don't know who that guy is. I didn't. I, I mean, this is a whole scene right here. This is a Punxsutawney is the city. Why yeah, is everyone wearing these hats? <laughs> You have never that's seen that. It's old tiny. The guy has a bow tie on. They've been doing this for 136 years. It's How snowing. have you missed this every year of your life? Well, you know what I, I'm really curious when uh -huh. I see this? Okay. Is what kind of shoes are these guys wearing? I was at home this week for my niece's baptism, and it was snowing. And it's like, you know, I got to be mobile line. here. Yeah. Dress shoes, snow. I mean, S salt stains, no bueno. Right. Like, what are these guys rocking? I think that, I think you're really on to something. We need to find that out. I was going to say, maybe yeah. you just found spats. a need that it's, needs to be fulfilled. Yeah. Really? I think if, if you go with spats, because that's classic as far as the attire is concerned. We don't see spats very often these days. And I like you that. You see that, like, on a golf course with an old-timey guy wearing, you know, knickers or something. Like, yeah, see, I'm wearing my spats. <laughs> All right, that's so what those guys we in Gobbler's Knob would be wearing. We also had a, a story this week, that, uh, maybe the most interesting story for me anyway. Yeah, you if you drink, one. there was some study that said if one. you drink five glasses of red wine a week, you have a 17% less chance of getting COVID. So, I mean. But the, the amount was actually higher. Wine. It was higher with a beer inside you. Remember right. that? Right. Huh. Which is weird. So you're Why? more likely to get Why? COVID with yeah, cider. Well, the because. Story. because because when we're drinking beer, we're more social, and so we're more likely to spread the COVID? I don't know. Well, you're more likely to get COVID? So or you're if you have likely? beer or cider, you're more likely to get COVID. If you have five glasses of red wine a week, you are 17% less likely to get That's it. a lot of wine. Do you know why? why? Because you probably passed out. I'm calling and you're not... bogus. I'm calling bogus. <laughs> you're not really breathing on anyone. You're passed out on a couch. Five glasses of wine. A bunch of winemakers got together, and they're like, we're going to fund a study, and we're going to lie to the people. And they will wow. say, yeah. wow. science. Wow. The All right. That's out. it. Hey, have a great weekend. See you later.